Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MBBA specialist in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can disable versioning in SharePoint online document libraries by using PowerShell and PNP PowerShell. So we will disable for a particular library as well as for all the libraries in the SharePoint site. So we'll also use both the things PNP and the PNP PowerShell. You can see this. This is the content that we are going to see here. Now versioning is one of the most popular feature in SharePoint online document library. And if you have enabled versioning, which is by default versioning is enabled for the libraries, then you will be able to store, you will be, you will be able to track the changes, the modifications, and most importantly, you can restore changes in the SharePoint list or libraries. And the versioning is available for both list and libraries, but by default, the versioning is disabled in SharePoint list and but in library it is enabled and also microsoft removed the disable of versioning in libraries from the ui that means you will not be able to do that so if i will open any of the libraries you can see here now let us say uh, this is a list and if i will go to uh, the list so you will be able to list settings page you can see here list settings page you will be able to see here in the versioning settings here you can see the option where you can you can saying you are saying that create a version each time you edit an item in the list in this list no that means you are disabling the versioning which is available for list now let me open a library for example this is our library or let's say this testing is a library which i have created and on this if i will go to the library settings page from the ribbon you can see here uh, you will be able to see that versioning settings and here you can see there is no way that you can disable it you can create major version or create a major and minor version which is the draft version but you cannot disable it this is not only for uh, the uh, classic list or the libraries if i'll go to the documents which is you can see here this is a, a library which is on the modern experience and if i will go to the library settings you will not be able to see here in the versioning setting you can see here there is no option that you can disable it so we will see how we can disable it using powershell first of all here we will use a powershell csum and uh, that we will run and once you'll disable it once you'll run it then it will disable the versioning so let me open this code first of all so if you'll see here this is i'm using csum with powershell and if you look at this, I have given reference to microsoft.sharepoint.client.dlls. So you can uh, uh, you can download from NuGet. You can download. You can actually use or you can install SharePoint Online uh, Management SDK, client side SDK. And then once you will install it, it will create the folder which will be having all the DLL, DLLs in the Easy API folder. Now once you give reference to this uh, DLLs, then you can see here we are retrieving the we are providing the site URL. So I have created a variable and then I have given the site URL here and this is how we can get the context. So you can uh, use microsoft.sharepoint.client.client context and you can provide the site URL. And then providing then we are using get hyphen credentials so what it will do is it will ask you for the credential so you will enter your username and password and then we are providing the online credential with your username and password so we are passing it to the context object and the next thing we are doing is we are passing or we are getting the list by providing the name in the get by title method so if you'll see here context dot wave dot list and dot get by title method and i'm providing the testing this is the library name and then this is the property list dot enable versioning i'm making it to false so that means the versioning will be disabled over here and then we have to call the update method then execute query method so when you do this then if you open the library then the versioning will be disabled now let me open the PowerShell IAC, I use PowerShell IAC. You can use any of uh, the uh, editor, like you can use PowerShell IAC or Visual Studio Code. In this case, I'll use PowerShell IAC. You can see here, I'll run as administrator. And on this, I will just copy this code here. You can see here. And I will open a new window. You can see here, I just paste it over here. 
now if we look at this this is the same code and let me open in the browser i'll go to the library settings page this is the list that we are using you can see here testing list i'll go to the versioning settings and you can see here this may only a create major and minor version is selected here now i will go here i will run this so i'll click on this run script or you can also press f5 here so i'll click on that then it is asking me for the credential so i'll put the credential here i'll put the password and once you put it then you can see here it executed successfully now if i will refresh this then what will happen is you can see here there is the option which is saying that no versioning so this is how we can enable versioning for a single uh, library now if i want to change it for all the libraries then what i'm doing here is you can see here i'm just filtering this a slightly change in the code let me just explain it if you'll see here i have given the same dll references because we are using the same csum with powershell providing the site url we are getting the context then providing uh, the username and password to this credential and next thing is we are getting the web object and web.list will give you all the list so i'm then i'm doing the load and execute query once you have all the list then what we can do here is i'm getting a library but but in this case what i'm doing is i'm checking the best type if it is a document library then only we are going to enable the versioning so it will ignore any other type of libraries or the list so uh, as this is, this is a filter in the in the powershell so now this library will be having all the items which is having the best type document library and then i'm doing a for each loop and in this for each loop then library dot enable versioning same property only thing is we are doing inside a for each loop and then equal to false and then update so once you run this code you will be able to uh, see that the library or this uh, versioning has been enabled for all the libraries so if you open any other library also it will do that it will do the same thing i'll not execute this code but it is working i have uh, also put a screenshot on on the article that i have posted and there you can get all the script so i'll put the link in the video description now this is how we can enable it now if you want to disable it then you can just make the property as true here so if i'll just make it true then what will happen is the enable versioning uh, will be enabled so you, you, the, now it is no versioning that time it will be a major version so i'll just run it here you can see i'll put the same credential here you can see here let me just put the password and now once it will execute so if you'll see here i'll just refresh you will not see this no versioning option you can see here now it is a major version why because we have now make this property as true so the enable versioning is true that means now there will be versioning for that for this particular library and by default it will be a major version now this is how we can enable or disable for a single library or for all the libraries you can do the for loop in this case now before going to the pnp part let me just tell you that i have a sharepoint development training course if you are interested for sharepoint training you can check out this url there are 21 modules over there more than 50 hours of course and you can enroll for it it will be a lifetime access that you can get so i'll put the link in the video description now if you have not gone through the pnp powershell that i have shown how we can connect to the sharepoint online site using pnp powershell then you can check the video i'll put in the video description and pnp is very much easier or to use compared to the other way that we did powershell now in this case if you'll see here i have just one command here connect pnp uh, connect type in pnp online so it will be able to connect to the particular site which we have provided here and the library name and then this is the the powershell command pnp powershell command that you can use set hyphen pnp list ident identity and then this is your library name and then the property same enable versioning false so once you do that then it will actually uh, disable this versioning so i'll just copy this this is the same library i will open the you can see here the same uh, powershell I isc you can see and i will just run it so it is asking to save just save it and now i will put the credential here now once you do this 
if I will open now the library you can see here now it is it is done executed successfully so let let us go back to this uh, this is the same library I'll just refresh it and you will be able to see here you can see no versioning is there that means if you will upload if you will modify the document now there will be no versioning will be saved on this case so if you want then you can uh, enable this way and if you want to disable it simple you can just make the property as true so then it will be uh, the the versioning will be enabled again this is uh, one way of doing this thing. For example, in this case, if you look at this, it is creating a major version. You can see here, once you make it to true, it will create a major version. But you can also uh, use the minor version or you can create or you can enable the versioning by using the minor version. So in this case, what you can do is the script is saying same, just additional one more property, which is saying hyphen enable versioning true and uh, sorry enable minor version 2 and then it will be uh, it, the second option will be you will be able to see here the create major and minor version uh, this will be enabled so if you will actually let me just execute this code now i will just copy this code I'll go here and you can see here we have done enable versioning true because we want the versioning but the versioning should be the minor version so I'll execute this here I'll just save it and you can see here I am just putting the credential here now if you'll execute now you can see here it is executed successfully I'll go back here I'll just refresh it now I'll be able to see here the second option will be selected create major and minor version so this is how you can uh, you can select here or you can uh, select this option just by putting some additional parameters on that same way you can also define the how many major versions will be there how many minor versions will be there you can also use this extra parameters so that you this option will be changed so whatever the uh, number that you will pass those version will be getting changed so this, so this is how we can Disable the versioning in SharePoint Online document libraries by using PowerShell and PNP PowerShell. If you are interested for some more videos on this, you can subscribe to our channel. You will get a lot of videos on Office 365, SharePoint, PowerShell, Power BI, Power Apps, Flow, SPFX. All these videos you will get it for free. So thanks and have a nice day.